Hi, as you complete these elements of art digital worksheets, you're gonna to need to know how to create lines, shapes, add color, and even search for images um, from within Google Slides. Um, so I'm gonna take you through that really quickly. Um, over here, you can see there's a bunch of different line types. Here are different shapes. This is where you're going to search the web for an image. And text box is, um, you're going to need to click within text boxes to answer questions. Um, and this is just the direct select tool. So if you need to move something. So let's go through these really quick. Um, to create a line, you just click and drag. If you hold down shift, it will, um, sorry, if you hold down shift, it will make it 90 degrees or straight. You can grab any point of the line and move it. Um, up here, you're going to find that there's the line color tool, line weight. Uh, you can change it to a dash or a dotted line. You can even change the ends to different shapes or to arrows. I'm going to change the line type and the weight so you can see it better. Again, you can change these at any time. So that's a line. Um, come over here. A different line type is an elbow connector. And this is going to create a stair step line and it works exactly the same. You can change the color, you can change the weight. Uh, let's come up here. You may need to use this cur curved tool. On the curved tool, you just click, move to where you wanna go, click again. Click, move to where you wanna go, click again, and it's gonna create a curve. To end it, you just double click. Um, another line type you may use is a polyline. This is cool because basically it allows you to create shapes, geometric shapes. Um, and you just connect where you started. Uh, you can use the fill tool to fill the shape. You can change the border color and the border weight. Okay, um, there's all different kinds of shapes. Uh, if you want to do a heart, obviously you're just going to select the heart. Same thing, fill color, border color. Um, when I, there's slides where I ask you to insert an image. Um, for example, I think I ask you to find some photos of texture. So you're just gonna say insert image and you're gonna, I searched for cement texture earlier, found one that I liked and I'm just gonna insert that. Okay, now, um, one of the things that is important when you're dealing with these images is that you want them to actually fit into the boxes um, that I have on the slides. So when you come over here, I'm going to take you to texture really quick. Um, and there's not one for cement, but I'm just going to pretend that it's pavement. I already copied it by hitting Command C and I'm going to do Command B. Now to make sure that it fits into the box. You don't want to stretch it because it's going to change the way the texture looks. You're going to crop it. And you just click right here on the crop image and then you drag these little uh, black lines and it's going to change the size for you. Try to um, be neat when you do this on your worksheets because that is um, one of the criteria that is going to be used to grade the sheets. And then when I click off, it's just going to show uh, the cement texture on that. So um, that's pretty much it. Have fun with these. If you have any questions, just ask your teacher.